Welcome back to Caffeine Connoisseurs. In this video, we are reviewing the Kicking Horse Company's Kick-Ass Coffee. So there's something that I want to acknowledge before we actually get into the video, and it's something that one of my friends had brought to my attention. It's the tapping on the table. I don't know if literally anyone else has noticed it, but apparently he has, because every video that I post, he's like, hey dude, you're bumping your microphone too much. I'm like, no I'm not. My microphone is spaced away from me, so there's no way I could bump it. So the only reason that there would be a bumping sound is maybe me like that putting stuff down on the table and this is like a cheap like $30 fold out table that I got from Walmart so it's not the best table and it's not it's definitely not that sturdy so I guess it carries sound and goes up into my microphone the only way that I could think about muffling this maybe is like an overhead microphone so make sure to like the video and subscribe so I can maybe in the future get an overhead microphone who knows Blue Yeti's produce great audio quality just not when you bump the table, I guess. Pardon the slurping, but I have to aerate the coffee and wash it over my palate to get a accurate and proper taste reading. No, just kidding. I'm not that kind of connoisseur, but let's get into the coffee. So, this is actually something interesting that I learned today when I was doing my deep dive on the research for the coffee. The Kicking Horse, or I think it's just, yeah, Kicking Horse Coffee, their parent company is actually Lavasa, which I didn't know, and Lavasa, of course, is my favorite type of coffee. Um, so, yeah, that's just something interesting that I learned today. Now, these beans are 100% Arabica beans sourced from Indonesia and South America, and then they're roasted in Canada because this is a Canadian company. And the reason that I'm reviewing the Kick-Ass Coffee over some of their other brands, I think another one of theirs is like Smart-Ass Coffee, maybe. Um, I haven't done too much research on their other brands of coffee or there are other lines of coffee that they offer. I was actually given this at work to review, so I thought that it would be interesting to review it since someone gave it to me and hadn't heard of it before. So if you have any coffee recommendations down in the description that you want to recommend, I'm looking for video ideas because I need to produce like six videos in the next two weeks because I'm leaving on a trip soon. So yeah, if you have any ideas, comment down below and I'll try to review it. And for that one person out there that uh, may or may not be watching the video, I am reviewing the coffee that you recommended. It's going to be next week's video probably, or the week after that, depending on when the coffee gets here. Now, this coffee has a very different flavor profile than other coffees I've reviewed. It's more acidic and it's more earthy than what I'm really used to, but that's okay. I think it's pretty good, but saying good or bad is, of course, very subjective. So that's up to you whether you like that flavor, and the caffeine content on this coffee is pretty good too. It's more than your average cup of coffee. Um, I made this with about two tablespoons of ground coffee, because that's what type of coffee I have here. It's ground, and about eight ounces of water. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I'm thinking of a ton more things that I could have said about this coffee. And one of the things I wanted to say, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the caffeine content because the caffeine content is probably why you're here, caffeine connoisseurs. So the caffeine content of the coffee is 205 milligrams, which is double the amount of a normal cup of coffee. So what I've noticed while drinking it is it does get me really amped up. This coffee honestly gets me more amped up than like Death Wish does for some reason. Even though Death Wish has a lot more caffeine than this does, Death Wish actually sometimes makes my chest hurt if I drink too much of it, where this one is actually getting me like amped up and I want to do stuff. So, and I'm not going to go to sleep now because it's like 8.30 and I need to like have work tomorrow, so I need to go to sleep, but I'm probably not going to be able to. But yeah, and I'm not getting really like jittery or anything from this coffee, which you probably 
which you would probably disagree with from the way I'm holding my phone right now. But yeah, it doesn't make me that jittery and I my chest doesn't hurt from it like it does Death Wish or like Black Label Coffee. So yeah, that's just something that I wanted to add. It's it, it will keep you awake all day. It'll get you amped up and ready to kick ass like the coffee would suggest. And yeah, so the, the caffeine content is pretty good. I'm probably going to be drinking this a lot more because it definitely gets me more amped than like Lavasa does because Lavasa, it'll wake you up, but it doesn't get you amped like this stuff does. And it tastes good too if you like more bold and acidic flavors, as I said. So it's it's pretty good. It's really bold and it just, I, I really like it. That's, that's all I can really say because as I said, flavor is very subjective. Now it is a little bit sweet, but it is also bitter. And the bitterness I'm pretty sure comes from the high caffeine content because caffeine itself is bitter. Because if you go to like Death Wish or Devil Mountain Black Label Coffee, it will be a little bit bitter because of the high caffeine content. Now, <clears throat> Now, I know Death Wish says never bitter, but come on, Death Wish. It's, it's going to be bitter because you have a higher caffeine content, and caffeine itself is bitter, so it's going to be bitter because of the more caffeine in your coffee. I'm just going to purposely bump the table harder now. Now, I am highly caffeinated at the time of recording this video because I've already had two cups of this, and this is my third cup because I tried to record this video earlier today and ended up not record not liking how it turned out and I think that's because I'm just putting too much fluff in my video because like right now I mean I've talked about the taste I've talked about the caffeine content I've talked about really everything that I can talk about and I, I can't think of anything else that I really need to cover in this video I mean it's decent it's it's different than what I've had before this is this is a very different flavor of coffee, and I'm not sure really why that is. Um, it's a pretty dark roast coffee. Um, I brewed it like I normally do, pour over. I actually have a little bit more in um, my Chemex over here. It's not actually a, a brand name Chemex, but let's not talk about that either. Um, but yeah, so... I, I, I think the thing that's getting me is how acidic it is, because it is more of an acidic coffee. Um, and that can just be how the beans are grown or what temperature is grown at, what altitude it was grown at. I mean, there are a bunch of things that go into the flavor of coffee. And if you guys want me to, like, make a breakdown of, like, how to taste coffee, like, put it in the comments down below because I can do that. And I can talk about, like, how you need to actually taste coffee. And that slurping was actually not a joke. People, like, professional coffee tasters, because I'm not a professional by no means. I'm just a random dude in his parents' basement making coffee videos. But that is an actual thing that professional coffee tasters do. They, like, take a big slurp of it, um, because apparently it gets more air in your mouth and you can taste it better. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up the video there because, um, there's not much more that I can talk about about this coffee it's decent coffee if you want to purchase it you can go and click the affiliate link in the description below i'll get a small percentage of that if you order on amazon so yeah um make sure to like the video and subscribe for the youtube algorithm as graham stefan would say and that's another video that we'll make in the future i really like graham stefan i'm going to make a video about his coffee that he drinks because i think that would be interesting and yeah um I'll see you in next week's video. Peace.